What's up, Ken folks? Country Cousin back here with another video. And today, I'm kind of excited. I'm really excited. Back here at the mud hole. Right now, I'm by myself. Supposedly, I don't know. I don't know who's coming. I don't want to say too much. But, we got a full moon. If you guys don't know, full moons last for two days. Yesterday was the first full moon. Um, me and Rico came out yesterday trying to find some of them bigger fish and we just couldn't do it um and that's what we're here to do today um and as you can see it's overcast and we got a thunderstorm coming around five o'clock it's currently one o'clock now so i'm thinking these fish might get a little amped up and get in a crazy feeding mood right before the storm comes and um yeah you guys stay tuned all right guys Right now we out here solo dolo. You guys know country cousin loves the barber jig and barber method. That's what we starting off with. So we have a one sixteenth ounce jig head. This is a Pro V bend hook. He's uh, highly recommended by me. I love these hooks when I crappie fish. It's all I use for crappie fishing. Um, then we have a black and chartreuse barber garland. This one actually kind of rigged a little funny, kind of flat. So this one falls a little different. It falls a, little, a tad bit slower, but I know this. But, uh, <coughs> oh, excuse me. But yeah, guys, this is, um, this is the setup we're going with. I hope you guys can hear me, because I know this wind is going to be a little crazy. But hopefully these fish are going to be fired up. But if I have to, I'll go to another spot for the wind. Really going this way, so we're gonna see. We're gonna chunk these baits out here. That just scared the crap out of me. But we're gonna chunk these baits out here, and we're gonna see what's what's to it. All right, guys. So, um, since I'm here by myself, I can actually do this. Uh, hopefully, I'm not getting too distracted. I know it's kind of hard to hear me through the GoPro, but what you're doing when you're jig fishing with a court you're just giving it a couple pops so anyone that's familiar to bass fishing it's the same thing as fishing like a shaky oh lord that was a good one that was a good one that was a real good one right there that was a real good fish huh broke me off huh broke me off it broke off let's throw it back out there But yeah, guys, so this style of crappie fishing is very, very simple. Um, you have to be, I got him. You have to be paying attention because your cork will go down so quick. And you have to really pay attention around this time. Look at that black crappie. A little small guy, you know. Not after this, this is not the size we're after. But a little, little small black crappie. You guys that don't know how to tell black crappie, black crappie, they have specs. So, so I'm like, no, nah, that's a white crappie. Look how white he is. No, that's just a pretty black crappie. Got the purple up here, on the greenish tint and silver. Yeah, just a black crappie. Thanks, guy. We broke the ice. This, I think this is how you're doing. You pull the, pull the. Guys, I really apologize for this. I know it's probably gonna be real tough to hear me, but I, I really apologize for this. Okay, I cannot throw that as far. Oh yeah, I can see that way better. Let's see how this goes. Ooh, there's one. There's one. That one's acting a little managed. He must have some size to him. Uh, they just fired up because it's storm, baby. Look at there. That's a decent one. There's a decent property. Look at that. Engulf the jig. We're not keeping the day, guys. So no catch, clean, and cook. I know, I know, a bummer. But we want to be able to keep coming out here and doing this, you know? 
So we're not keeping every time we come out here, and that's important. You know, if we was keeping like five, I might keep five. You know what? We might do a catch plenty of fish. We're gonna keep five. I got the stringer with me. You're not casting right on them, you know. Because these fish could be scattered or they could be grouped up, you know. Because we're catching them. But one thing I can see right now, um, with this bigger cork, uh, it's a little tougher for them to get it down and maybe that's going to allow me to get a better hook set because it's more there's more friction and pressure built up versus they can just take that other cork down as they please because they can take those little small corks down with no detection at all and sometimes we will actually miss fish like i believe this is why we was missing so many fish yesterday they will take that cork down and um and as we get ready to pull on it, they will come up. There's one. See, with this cork, it takes a little bit more momentum to pull the bait down. Not too much where the fish is like, oh, there, that's a magic one. Look at there. That's key. All right. All right. Oh, that's a nice, healthy one right there. Let's check it out there. Like, it wants to go, but then that wind, it's like the cork just said, uh-uh. No, no. But yeah, these fish are a lot distance out. Um, I don't think they fully made that transaction to come come quite shallow yet and do the spawn thing because I have yet to catch a a solid black male. I've been catching a lot of females, a lot of a lot of females. Um, our pet crappie that we got from here. I'm sorry I didn't bring you along for that, guys. But oh, there's one. Ooh, that one feels good. That one feels good. It's swimming towards me. Yeah, that one feels good. That one feels good. They're eating this jig too. Trying that little finicky. Don't beat the bank, baby. That's the last thing you want to do. Don't beat the bank. Probably could change colors and get them fired back up. Now I'm a little too lazy to do that. Let's sit here and see if I can find that the fish down here. I don't know why I make that cast like that. Cause now I'm gonna have to really need this wind just to, to stay slack. Well, notice they like to bite. They bite a tad bit better in the morning. First time we come out here, not in the morning, but earlier. But Saturday, you guys saw that video, so I made a fish we caught. And it was, there's one. And he comes off. Yep, I'm taking this cork off. I still got my nippers, so I'm gonna give him one more shot. Look at that, I just missed him again. Yep, I'm taking this goddamn cork off. I'm taking this cork off. I need to reach down there and get my other cork. That's what that is. Yep. I'm tired of missing these darn old rascals. Fish gonna learn today, boy. I'm missing that many fish. And I was sure to hope it's not because of the cork. And you guys, I, I really let that fish run with it for a good little while. Like he pulled it down and he got comfortable. And I can just see my cork just in there. Got him. 
Look at that, guys. Look at that. That's actually a good one, too. Look at that. Yep. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Look at that. Look at that, guys. You know, some people say, oh, just change the bait. And yeah, catch a nope. I changed the cork. The wind is slacking up. The sun is coming out. I can see the blue sky. Doesn't look like it's gonna freaking get crazy. The wind is still, still being the wind. Still blowing pretty hard. But uh, hopefully these fish continue to bite. Slow down just a tad bit. Uh, I went down in that corner and I started catching fish, but the problem was I couldn't hook them. And as soon as I, you guys saw, I reached down and grabbed my cork, I put the other cork on, and I caught a fish. So I don't, I don't know. I have no idea what's going on with that there. But I've lost the cork again. It's along the bank. I'll grab it before I leave. But I think I'm gonna just rock with this cork here. These corks I have here. No idea what the hell is going on. My line is like a fish. I don't know what the hell that was. I felt like it was a thought that was a crappie finna take my cork down. Sometimes they'll pull your jig. Look like my jig was getting pulled against the wind. Okay, that's Rico. Let's see what Rico. Oh, there's one. Hello? Hello? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm fishing. Hello? Bro, it is sunny as hell out here. It is sunny out here. All right, guys, as you can see, we've made it back home. It actually got real bad. Uh, I forgot to film uh, an outro and um, pretty much just wrapped this video up. So what ended up happening, uh, after I caught that last fish you saw, I turned, uh, I took my GoPro off. Uh, a couple of people, uh, Rico, Payne, Antonio, they all came out and I went on live. So for you guys that make sure follow you country cousin on my social medias. I went live on TikTok and on Instagram. Um, uh, for you people who don't know, I post on TikTok daily. Well, I'm trying to. Um, so you might get like a little sneak peek. Like the people on TikTok already know how the tank is doing, but you guys won't know until Tuesdays. But yeah, make sure you follow me on t um, TikTok. But anyway. Yeah, so when I turned the camera off, uh, it stayed pretty slow till I want to say I seen Antonio. When I seen Antonio, I hooked one. As Antonio's walking down, I see Payne. It's crazy because they kind of pulled up around the same time. Antonio still haven't made it to me. I see Payne. I hook up to another one, and they're standing next to me. And uh, I'm sitting there winding my bait in. I think this happened on live. I'm winding my bait in, um, and it's literally like right finna, it's finna come out the water. I catch one of the biggest crappies I ever seen out of there. It wasn't like a true, true slab, but it was like a 12 inch crappie. It was a pretty good one. And then um, Rico came, probably caught another four more. I did, didn't nobody else catch I think Antonio, Antonio caught one and a small bass. He caught a small bass and a crappie. Peyton caught one good one. And I think Rico said he caught a bass. He caught a bass and a crappie. But for that time, I probably, after I turned the camera, I probably caught another 10 crappie. Um, that storm uh, was really bad. Uh, it got real, real bad, actually tornadoes and stuff. So um, yeah, just giving you guys a little update of how the rest of the trip went. But 
If you enjoyed today's video, please, and I mean please, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this out to your folks. Oh, and hold on, because I'm trying to, I'm caught up in my videos and I've been wanting to do this for you. I'm literally here editing this video now. But hold on, give me one quick second, guys. Just one second of your time. If you stuck around this long, you'll stick around for a few more seconds. I gotta put the password. Here it is. I'm sorry I'm pronouncing this wrong, but Ern, Ernie Haymaker, Hatmaker, Ern, Ernie Hatmaker. Thank you. I really appreciate you. Um, For you, we got some new people that know about Country Cousin, and I really appreciate how you did the video. You ex explained me to the T. I didn't even know I was a water lover until you opened my eyes. Like, dang, I really do love water. Cause it... Anyway, all right, and you can, um, this is just for you, Ern. Uh, I mean, I'm going to get another kayak. I'm in the process of actually trying to get one now. So hopefully this one I get will be a lot better. Um, it's a, it's a lot wider kayak. It's kind of like a real big boat. It's like a big kayak. It's kind of like a John boat kind of. So yeah, hopefully I won't flip off this one like I flipped on the last pass too. But we got a lot of stuff coming. We got some new boats coming. Um, I'm supposed to be getting a V-Haul boat. Uh, you know, we got flat bottom boat we got Larry's flat bottom I got a flat bottom then we finna get a kayak that's three boats right there so you can expect a lot of great content this uh upcoming fishing season and um I appreciate I appreciate every single one of you I can't thank that enough I'm gonna give you guys just a little quick just because every you stand you stand see everybody else won't see this but you know we got an update I know we just posted the other video but those are the two original crappie that we had at first we have a spotted bass now that I was gonna take to a pond, but I fell in love with them. And we have two new crappie. We have a white crappie and we have a black crappie. Um, yeah, some people think I should get a bigger tank because those fish stretched out, uh, they're gonna die. Um, I'm gonna tell you right now, I try to ignore those type of contents and look for the intelligent people. But you gotta understand, I've been fishing and learning about fish since I was probably three years old. Um, I only had really two fish die on me. And you guys know that fish died because the water wasn't acclimated. And I had another fish died uh, from fin. Uh, one of his fin, uh, they caught, uh, what is that called? Um, fin rotten. So I had to take these fish out, put it in quarantine. I actually have another crappie. The other crappie that was in here with it. She's in another tank in quarantine. So all these fish been quarantined. This this water is in perfect conditions, pH balance and all that, you know. But just yeah, guys, you be patient with me. Country cousin, I know what it know what it um know what I'm talking about. And these fish, they're fine. Um they haven't been bullying each other. Um and what I noticed they're they're swimming more. The more fish I have in the tank, it seems that they move freely because when i just had those two males in there they would just sit there and i was like man do i really want these fish because they so boring but when i added the rest of the fish as you can see they all kind of spaced out and doing their own thing the spotted bass loves it he's always chasing stuff but yeah you guys i appreciate you i know it's a long outro but i'll see you on the next one can folks country boy passions